damn. $15 to watercool this graphics card. Check the video out. Let me know what you think, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let's get into it. Happy Monday, YouTube. So, today, water cooling. Inexpensive water cooling. Um, this is an HD7970, also an R9280X. This is a Sapphire model. Um, I believe that it's non-reference, right? Now this model is a great candidate for what we're going to do today. And what we're going to do today is we're going to install, um, or we're going to look at something like this. Now this is a cheap $15 GPU water block that I got from eBay. Now it comes with mounting hardware, which is these little screws here, right? Little screws. This is the block itself, okay? Um, and... It's, it's relatively universal in its process. I have actually used this style of water block to water cool some graphics cards in the past. It is a great solution for um, A, for low cost, because it's only about 15 bucks, including delivery. But also it's a great solution when you have a, a graphics card like this one here that no one makes a full cover water block for. So instead of spending 150 bucks on a full cover water block, I spent $15 on that GPU. Now, here's one I prepared earlier, right? Exact same card, just with the block and seal on it. Now, this block is very, very simple. Thankfully, this graphics card, right, is actually only mounted by these four holes. So if I take those four screws off, these four screws here, the whole card comes out, uh, the whole cooling system comes off and reveals that there are actually heat sinks already on the VRMs here and on the um, memory chips here. So um, it makes it an even better candidate for something like this. So it just exposed the um, chip. So I cleaned it up, um, put in some new thermal paste, mounted this. You can actually probably see here that I have, may, I may have already used this water block. So I've actually probably put 100 hours through this water block and it still works great. So I personally think the quality is actually quite good for what it is. Um, uh, so I haven't had any problems with it. That being said, it is a no-name Chinese made um, water block. So make sure you check the seals and things before you use it, right? Now for this, in order to get the best benefit out of this, I actually will have to put some sort of airflow over these VRMs, so I'll just put a quiet 120mm fan somewhere in my case and I'll probably get our rig it to put some air over these um, over this uh, uh, graphics card here, right? But that, that's ultimately it. So this is the water block, it's installed, it cost me $15 um, and it works great. This um, universal water block, I've done tests and it cools about 3 or 4 degrees better than an or a full cover water block simply because it's not taking heat from other areas of the board so um yeah really really good solution um particularly low cost incredibly easy to use let me know what your thoughts are um if you want any advice you want some links to where you can get this stuff from on ebay please let me know in the comments i'm really excited about um helping you guys out and getting my channel going so um Leave some comments, ask me some questions, hit the like button. If you don't like what I've suggested, hit the dislike button. Always happy to get some feedback. Um, also, it's November here in Australia. In November, we do Movember, which is why I have a moustache. So, I'm not, I haven't enrolled into the police force or anything, in case you were wondering. Anyway, look, it was great to talk to you guys today. Let's talk soon. Thanks.